was I capable of that I did not know of yet? What about my limits? Could I truly enjoy my own company for an entire year? Was I equal to everything this wild land could throw at me? I had seen the moods in late summer, spring, and fall. But what about the winter? Would I love the isolation then with its bone-stabbing cold, its brooding ghostly silence, its forced confinement? At age 51, I intended to find out. Could I really build the cabin with just hand tools to the standards I had set in my mind? The furniture, the doors, the windows. What was the best way to produce the needed boards? Would the tin gas cans serve as I hoped they would? Was the fireplace too ambitious a project? Put up the cash on its poles. Surely that must wait till next spring. The cabin had to be ready before summer's end. There were priorities to establish and deadlines to meet. I would need the extra daylight the summer would bring. The most exciting part of the whole venture was putting self-reliance on trial. Dick Prentice served as a carpenter in the U.S. Navy during World War II. After the war, he became a diesel mechanic, a welder, tended sheep, and eventually came to Alaska to start a cattle ranch. He ended up working as a heavy equipment operator on the naval base in Kodiak, Alaska. Also fished commercially. A serious injury to his eye encouraged him to build a cabin in the loveliness of the Twin Lakes area. If he lost his eyesight, he felt he would be consoled by memorable images of the beauty and grandeur of this special place. I do know that I carried a pedometer one whole year from daylight to dark, and it registered 3,081 miles. Needs? I guess that's what bothers so many folks. They keep expanding their needs until they are too dependent on too many things and too many other people. I wonder how many things in the average American home could be eliminated if the question were asked, must I really have this? He's something like every man's Henry David Thoreau, living simply and self-sufficiency.